But Keith, listen, while you're on, uh, we were talking about the Gardner Diesel. Now, I don't know if this is a bit weird, but I just adore these old engines. Right, well, so do I, so do I. You and the thing is, the they volume. talk to you, Keith. That's the sound they make. It's as simple as it's, that. You it's called, as you know, it's called diesel chatter. And I don't know if I told you this. Did it stop me if I've told you the story? But when I was a wee boy, I remember watching Winston Churchill's funeral. January 1965. January 65, Keith. So what are we talking about? 50. I wasn't born. Wow, you're just a bairn, right. Well, 67 I was born. 67, right. So you're just a bairn then. You're a young lad. Now... Churchill's funeral. Now, there was a bit of it they'd planned to go down to Tower Bridge and take him up the river to Waterloo. Uh -huh. Right? Now, they put him into the Haven Gore. And the Haven Gore is a lovely, lovely old teak motor launch. I was just going to ask you that. What is that? Yeah, the Haven Gore, a lovely old teak motor launch. And she was built by Tufts of Teddington in 1956. Very famous uh, boat builder, and she yeah, was no, for the. Is absolutely amazing, honestly. Well, this it's is like for just coming out of a book. It's, it's like coming out of a book. Well, this it's was the hydrographers. Like the yeah. hydrographers wore their 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 uh, uniforms. She was owned by the Port of London Authority at the time, the PLA, and they'd order her. Uh -huh. So when Churchill's funeral came along, she was nine years old. Now, BBC had Richard Dimbleby, who was very close to death himself, doing the commentary, a beautiful commentary from Richard Dimbleby, from St. Paul's and uh, during the whole day. ITV had Richard was that, Burton. Me, was Richard Dimbleby, was he a director? Uh, of? Of whatever he'd done. Richard Dimbleby was a news presenter. He used to present Panorama. Oh. Right, 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 I see. Yeah, and his, yeah. he was the father of David Dimbleby uh -huh. that you see on the television. Yeah. And Jonathan Dimbleby, of course, the other brother. Yep, yeah. and oh. that was it. That was, and sadly, Richard died. I think Richard would be about maybe 57 when he died. He had cancer, sadly. And he was a lovely, lovely guy. He was a brilliant, brilliant newsman and a great uh -huh. presenter. And... Uh, and also the Dimbleby's owned newspapers in the South Coast. 